I feel like I'm a dad without children. I can cut grass all flipping day in this thing. <laughs> Dude. Is that a rooster? A giant, I mean giant. He grabbed it. Got him, big and <laughs> oh, it's a freaking tank. Oh my gosh, that's a trophy. Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fishing with Norm YouTube channel. Comment days popping up, so subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Today we're here with Lojo Fishing. That's when you say oh, something. Yeah. Like, oh, I like, thought you were hey, just giving I'm, me a nice introduction. Just like, hey, I'm Lojo. Nice. Hey, I'm Lojo. Today we are in the middle of Alabama, and there is such thing as a, a farm store. You know, where I'm from, we don't have farm stores. We got Home Depot yeah. and Ace Hardware. Yeah. We're here at Rural King. There it is. That was pretty good. Yeah. How do you how do you say the word? Rural. Rural, like you live in a rural area, so there's so, like a lot of trees. R rural King. That's the hardest <laughs> word in the English dictionary. <laughs> Comment down below a harder word in the yeah, English it, language to say weird. than rural. I I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but we're here at the at the Royal the Royal King, yeah. and we are we are after fishing lures, oh, yeah. fishing gear, as we always are. I don't know what we're about to get into, so what I figured is we'd have Lojo. He's from Alabama. He knows what's going on around here. So I come to the store a lot, so not only do they have fishing stuff, they've got like hunting stuff. They've got animals in there. There's live like baby real, livestock, real live animals. Oh yeah. So you could come home with an animal today too. Dude, that's what I'm trying. To, <laughs> I'm trying to bring a cow back home to my 400 but, square foot apartment yeah. and just have him poop in my family room. Probably should. If you guys look at the store from the outside, and they got a hot dog stand, we might have to yeah. venture into that. This is bigger than my local Walmart. I'm just so excited to go inside and see what a farm store is. Dude, the best part, as soon as you walk in the door, free popcorn. I love Alabama. I'm moving here. <laughs> Our goal today, we're going to have 100 bucks. Lojo's is going to help me. You're probably going to pick out the majority of the stuff. $100 to spend on lures and what we need to catch fish. So before we even go inside, the outside looked pretty interesting. We have a very noisy... Behind us, it's just smoking. It smells like my great grandma's house. She she smoked like two packs a day. She lived till 102 though, so God bless her. There's lawnmowers out here. See your boy whipping the zero turn in the backyard? Dude, I feel like I'm a dad without children. I can cut grass all flipping day in this thing. You know you're getting old when you're like, dang, that's a nice lawnmower. I don't even have a yard. No better way to show you're a man than cutting the lawn. Oh, you let me shake real quick? Oh boy. Oh wow, oh. yoinkers. I like farm stores already. Now you're shopping in style right now, man. I'm ready to see farm animals. Let's, Let's go. go do it. We interrupt today's video to bring you today's video sponsor, Warby Parker. Do you know what Warby Parker is? You don't know what it is? Are you gonna tell me about I it? Do. do you know what it is, Trey? Do, yeah. Trey knows what it is. Trey, you wanna tell him what it is? Yeah, it's uh, sunglasses. <laughs> Almost, Warby <laughs> Parker, guys, is a service that sends you glasses straight to your door to try on for free. Then you can send the ones you don't want back, keep the ones that you do like, and they have sunglasses, they have glasses to see. Spectacle. They have glasses that help with your vision. Bad Those are vision. called prescription glasses. Prescription glasses. Jason, let's that go. Smart. <laughs> they have blue light glasses, which uh, I wear when I'm dropping sick 360s on Call of Duty. Also, when I'm editing my videos. Light on the screen, no more. Keeps your eyesight going. And contact lenses. So, we have here a box of five that you guys could actually get to your door for free using warbyparker.com slash norm. It'll be linked down below in the description. And you can try glasses on, send back what you don't want. But because we are fishermen, we got primarily sunglasses. So, we're going to try on some sunglasses and see if they work in the water right here. Mason, I got you this black pair of sunglasses right here. Oh so, gosh, we're going to try that thank on. Thank you. Of course. Trey, I feel like this is kind of your style, man. Dude, those are fire, actually. <laughs> and I got myself these same ones as you. Those are style. I dude. really like these lightweight frames. Yeah. I mean, they're nice. It's a comfy ride. Comfy ride? I could wear them at least all day. This is my first try on right here. Oh, snap. Let's see in the water. Oh, my God. That is horrible. Oh. <laughs> so, you guys know it's very important as fishermen to wear any type of glasses. So, I wear blue light glasses all the time when I edit because my mom tells me if I don't, my vision's going to go and I listen to my mother. You should too. I wear sunglasses all the time because it helps you see in the water. I don't wear normal glasses yet because I got that 2020 vision because of my genetics. So, guys, if you want to try five pairs of any glasses, go to warbyparker.com slash normal. Send them right to your house for free. You can choose the ones that you want to keep. Send the other ones back. It'll be linked down below in my description as well. But if you want to look as stylish as my boy Trey, if you want your eyes protected like my boy Mason, make sure you guys use the link in the description. Thank you so much for Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna go ahead and get right back to fishing. 
<laughs> is that a rooster? That's big daddy rooster over there. Dude, man. baby chickens, I'm not gonna lie, they're so like cute. Just look at them. They're... They are. Listen to the sound they make too. Just... And then they just grow up to be mean and aggressive and also just so happen to be tasty. Yeah, rest in peace gumball, my chicken. Uh, I was eight years old. I was actually there when it happened too in the backyard playing soccer. You watch saw the hawk watch come the down. hawk come down and just absolutely massacre That's my brutal. first bit. I'm still traumatized to this day. Turkeys have already been bought since we just walked around. There's no more turkeys? No, there was two left. Somebody just bought them. They're gone. Well, guys, there was turkeys. <laughs> That's what they look like. So if you guys don't know what a turkey looks like, pop a picture up on the screen for you guys. Google, Google that real quick. And then there's assorted ducks. What, what do you buy that's assorted? I guess that just means like different breeds. Like they don't they don't feel like listing all the breeds. They're just like, hey, here's some ducks. So here's Basically. a picture of a duck if you guys know what a duck is. Wow. French pearl guineas. I didn't know they sell those. Rhode Island Reds. I think that's a pretty popular little chicken. Very common. Good egg layers. Yeah. That one's got a booty. Kind of looks like yak pack. Oh. Cheeked up. Cow was gone, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, sold the only cow. What we do have is bunnies. Dude, those are little play pits. I was just sitting in his food bowl. That's my man's right there, just sitting <laughs> in a food bowl. <laughs> just eating. That is efficiency <laughs> if I've ever seen it. Guys, comment down below your favorite animal. Mine is a bunny. I love how soft bunnies are, too. They're just soft to the touch. So do these chickens, roosters, make the baby chickens that they sell, and that's why these aren't for sale? Well, I don't know what that, this is probably just like a display animal, but. You know, the female chickens, they don't need a male to lay eggs. They need them to have babies, though. Well, that's what an egg is. Yeah, but the chickens, <laughs> or the rooster, the rooster's gotta do his thing right. on the eggs. Well, he, yeah, he fertilizes, I think it changes their, like, how long they can be out of the fridge for, too. There's a lot of weird stuff, I trust me, there's some weird stuff with chicken eggs. What are you eggs. talking about? You take a farm fresh egg out of the thing, you don't have to refrigerate it for like a month or two, that's a fact. They don't put roosters with chickens when they're selling them in the grocery stores. Roosters just make more chickens to lay more eggs. I don't know, I have to check on What that. came first, the, sure. the egg or the rooster? They lay eggs. You know, ploop, there's the egg. Unless there's rooster around, they're just always gonna be an egg. Right. They're never gonna be a baby chicken. So I think they need these to make baby chickens. Well, yeah. It says they're not for sale, but everything has a price. I want this I want that rooster. rooster. <laughs> What's your highest asking price? We've got popcorn. We've seen the animals. I think it's time to find the fishing gear, Lojo, and what are you doing over here? Well, this sign says, do not pet the pigs. Do so not I was pet just the like, pigs? Oh, wait, are there pigs? Are there baby pigs in here? Piglets. Well, no, that's their egg box. You can't put a pig in public and ask me not to pet the pig. I yeah. Mean, I'm going to pet the pig. All right, guys, we made it to the fishing section oh, in yeah. Rural King. Dude, this is actually like more than Walmart, I would say. Oh, definitely more. They got rods and reels up here, yeah. tons of fishing lures. So, Lojo, you're going to have to pick me out. Let's just say roughly $100 worth of stuff. Well, I mean, are you looking for new stuff, weird stuff? I think what are you thinking? weird stuff, new stuff that we wouldn't be able to buy in like a normal store. And then also like a couple good things if we get on like a crazy bite and we want to catch some big fish. I'm already seeing some brands that I've absolutely never seen before. Tsunami? Have you ever heard of that before? Mm -mm. I don't know if that's like salt water. If this I mean, is... it's a shrimp, but it might be a freshwater shrimp. Oh, so. it is a shrimp. I thought it was like a swim bait. DOA. Same with that. I don't know. You don't know what DOA is? No. It says the unfair advantage. Cancel him right now. <laughs> hey, no. You, I, you for real don't know what I'm DOA dead is? Dead serious. I came in the fishing industry fresh. I was using Zoom and for, you know the, the super common stuff when I started. I didn't really branch out. I was just trying to figure it out. DOA is probably, and maybe I'm wrong, but probably the biggest saltwater brand ever. It, like, Okay, now that I never went saltwater fishing. So yeah, in so all fairness so to me, all the saltwater idiot. fishermen hate you right now. I think it's that looks crazy. Water. The color it just looks like bass. This almost looks like a like a toad or something. You could skim across the top, and the freaking tail is just like. Blah, blah, blah. I gotta try that. Dude, I was about to say, Wait, should we get one of these? Yeah, I want to open it up and give it like a yeah, sniff test. Dude. Oh yeah. Salty? That, that brings we... back my childhood. Mm. Do you know like when there's like a scent that you smelled when you oh, fished like a yeah. really long time ago? That's old school right yeah. there. Dude, I'm telling you, you just hook this thing up with a weightless hook or maybe like a really light belly weighted hook and just swim it really fast. I mean, that thing's just gonna go on top of the Dude, water, man. It that looks little, like a shad, kind it's of. It's like a darker shad, but I mean, cool. moving fast like that, the bass isn't gonna care. Yeah, I mean, you talked them up. I think that should be lure number one for yeah, sure. Yeah, oh, 100%. And just figure out some ways to rig that That's thing. That's definitely lure number one. Guys, what's also really cool about here is they have like a hunting section. There's a ton of different sections, like an outdoor section with a ton of like ATVs and stuff. There's so much yeah. stuff to go over it's in a cool the store. store. What is this? Yeah, is there's this just... more. There's more crazy stuff. Catfish <laughs> dough. Oh yeah, now oh. that's a classic right there. There's finger mullet, there's oh. cut squid. Dude, shrimp, shrimp. Look at those finger mullets, dude. That'll catch a catfish in like two seconds right there. I right. have no clue what this what is, in the but grass, grass shrimp. shrimp. How do you rig that? Tiny little hook? Just thread so. a bunch of them on there or what? Just, like go for, like for us to do like a, a dead live bait challenge out dude, here. Dude, that would so be so much fun. So we could so do crickets, fun. I could catch yes. bass or catfish. 
Just a multi-species. Brim, everything. How many likes? 10,000. 10,000 likes. There. And biggest catfish, neighbor Daryl has to cook it up and feed us. Oh my win, gosh. Win. Everybody wins on that one. Please hit that. I love Daryl's cooking. Oh. Do you want to show him this? Oh, yeah, dude, we should. Sh because it's pretty here. crazy. This could be its own video <laughs> right here. It's just a bag of chum. It's literally like for shark, I guess, shark fishing. But apparently this is equivalent to 100 pounds of fresh chum. Okay, so you dump the chum into a container, into a net, which probably holds it all together, but then it may be like seeps out little by little. I don't know. That cool. should be its own video right there for catfish because I guarantee you catfish would appreciate that. We gotta save all this stuff for the live bait video, but I mean they have mean green shad. Like what is the green stuff? I don't know. We'll stop talking about the, yeah, the dead <laughs> live stuff. There's but, just so um, much other fun stuff we could do in this store. Have you ever used a mullet Swim bait. No. Look at this, dude. Speaking of tsunami, it's a freaking mullet, dude. But it's got your little hook right there. It's got your little, I guess that fin's supposed to keep it weedless, but it doesn't look like it's very effective. Dude, mullet, I mean, bass gotta eat mullet too, right? In situations where there are freshwater mullet, like like Lake Okeechobee. That's a good point, now I, mean, that I think I'm about saying, it. There's a lot of freshwater <laughs> mullets that get kind of mixed in there. They gotta have babies and bass have to eat them. If you're down, man, if you're up dude, for it. I'm if you're so, up for the challenge. I'm so down. We got so many saltwater lures. These look like shad too, so I mean, I I feel like too, as long man. as you got like a swim bait or something yeah. swimming, it won't matter too much. But I'm excited yeah. to try to use these. We were too. fishing my pond earlier today, and the moving bite was getting crushed. I know. So that that pre-spawn reaction bite, dude. It's that time of year so. where they're eating up, getting fat. That's, That's a cool color. The not so sexy. Ooh, I'm gonna cool. choose some of my own lures too, just because. You dude, look at that. It's like a baby blue and a white. Or, How could you name that not so sexy? Yeah, that's the opposite. I would just name this one sexy. So sexy. Kind of looking around, dude. I can't. I still can't believe you never had heard of DOA before. Just their shrimp is I, like iconic. I'm gonna go home tonight and look it up because I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> I've been fishing like all year for the last five, six years. And I've never heard of DOA. What I, is I, this I mean, no name uh, brand DOA? <laughs> <laughs> little what, bass assassin action? Yeah, I never see these in Walmart or oh. bass or anywhere actually. I don't think. I've ever seen besides in like South Florida, like local tackle shops will have it. Dude, June bug red there. looks kind of nuts. That's kind of hard to beat. We yeah. get a couple packs too. Are these all the same? 10 count, 10 count. Oh, these are 7.5 oh, yeah, inches. Those are 11. These are 11 inches. Watermelon red. Get some in the uh, June bug red Ooh, as well. Yeah. Adding red to your baits is always a plus because red just looks like blood. A little red sparkle, no matter what color the bait is, red never hurts. So. It's not going to hurt. All right, so we still got plenty of Norm's $100 budget to work with here. And we got to make sure we use every bit of that budget. We haven't got any top water yet. And I'm just going to go with this. I like this guy right here, Bullet Pop 70. This looks like a newer model of like the Berkeley hard baits. To me, they definitely upgraded some things. The paint job's kind of nice. But even the hooks look kind of good. Oh, we need some top water in there, Norm. You got a big fishing trip coming up. This is the time of year, one of the times of year where top water could be really nice. It's like a frog pattern it's popper. It's a frog pattern popper, which I don't think I've seen too often. And Justin Lucas says it's okay. And he's a pro. Oh, I thought he was like a country singer or something. I, that sounds like a that country singer. That kind of sounds name. like. Yeah. Well, sorry, Justin Lucas. No shade. Just you got a country singer's name. Oh, I'm thinking of Luke Bryan. Yeah, Luke Lucas. George, yeah, I, okay. I was thinking Star Wars. George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, exactly. why he got me mixed up. What I'm seeing right now, we have a chatterbait, but if you look closely, this isn't a green pumpkin. Look at the sparkles in there. Candy, it's candy crawl. Candy crawl. Yeah, so it's got legit. green and purple flakes in there. I've never seen this color no, in any store ever. It. It's normally just like the chartreuse, the white, black and, and blue, and black and blue. Green. Like that's got some sparkles in it. That looks good. The word candy is in a bait lure description. I just automatically want it. Candy gets them the bass going crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get two of these in case. Just I'm thinking this yeah. could come into play. Completely miss this whole section. They have spinner baits, frogs, crank baits. <laughs> just no. They have. This just knocked <laughs> the whole aisle. Dude, how much of your budget do you think you have left, though? Uh, dude, Real I, talk. I, I because you, you got, you're holding probably like 60, 70, you know, I don't know. We're probably getting to the end you of your think? budget. All these lures are like between $5 and $7 a piece. Yeah. You're holding like 10 things right there. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting close. All right, so I think for this video, we're going down south, guys. Frog bite might be nuts. I feel like I need a frog. You I'm going to do it. probably need a frog. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like more of a popping frog guy or a walking frog guy? I like What's walking frogs more, okay. but I like booyah more than the striking ones. I agree with you on yeah. that. And they're cheaper. So it saves the budget a little bit. Mm. You know, you don't break the bank mm. as much. Interesting color too. I mean, yeah. it's kind of like a bruised banana type situation. Yeah, I don't really, really like the it. yellow. I normally no. only throw white or black frogs and that's Same, it. No. To keep it simple, it's like when it's sunny outside, white frog. When it's cloudy outside, 
black frog and I just keep it like there that so I don't overcomplicate. The bottom of this one's white, so they can't even really see the yellow. That's It'll just be the fast. tails that are yellow and black. Give me something in this area, dude. I want yeah, okay, okay. I want something here. I know you're a big spinnerbait guy and you're yeah. going to Florida. If you guys don't know, I mean, in Florida, a lot of the old school fishermen, we're talking about 30, 40, 50 years ago, they would only throw white spinnerbaits. We have no idea how many 10 pound bass have been caught in Florida on white spinnerbaits. Probably countless numbers. Countless. Thousands. So now this is a different one. Now this is the pot belly spinnerbait. I have no idea what that means. I'm just looking at it. I'm thinking they probably made that head a different shape because you can see how like low it goes. Yeah, it's, it's kind of got like that little pot belly down so there. So maybe oh. that makes it wobble. Not sure. Maybe you guys can educate us on what makes it the pot belly. I'm pretty sure it's just the jig head and kind of the shape of the Colorado blade. But either way, it's a white spinnerbait and you're literally not going to go wrong with it. This is going to be fun, too. That's like some of my favorite pre spawn lures are like this, just a swim bait on a jig head and a chatter bait, which we have. And we got different colors too. So if yeah. there's bluegill, we could rock with the candy craw. Yeah. And if they're shad, we can rock with the spinnerbait. So I 100%. think we're kind of covered. You know what I kind of want to? My buddy down there caught a nine and a half on a jerkbait recently. Oh, so. you got to have a jerkbait on the boat this time of year. We learned that lesson on my channel this year. I feel like I have a lot of lures in my hand I right now. I think you got $100 worth of lures. With those last two, you're probably really close to your budget with what you got. But I feel like you could go anywhere in the country and catch fish with that assortment of lures. I'm liking it, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the buckets. We found the buckets. I don't think we were supposed to find that. No, that, that'd have to be another video right there, dog. I'm gonna take a sneak peek. Dude, I mean, look at this. This looks like it's a 10 year old pack of Zoom speed Yeah, crows. all these look old. That's this, a fire color. This probably is the clearance section for real though. Dude, we Thanks. should come back yeah. with this whole box. Just buy the box. And buy the box and try to barter with them up front. And we could fish against each other with like, I grab a oh box, you grab a box. Gosh. And one yes. v one. Next time. Next Content. time, guys. 20,000 likes and we will. <laughs> 20,000 likes, we'll do this. 10,000, we'll go buy all the dead animals and fish with them. <laughs> all right, so no bait casters. There's pocket combos, spinning combos. That would be fun though. Like, we yeah. come back in, we maybe barter these boxes with no price tags on them, see mm -hmm. if we can get like a good deal. I got all my stuff on the floor here. I'm ready. Yeah, to I go think catch you are, some man. tanks. I think it's gonna be a good time. Thank you, Lojo, for being here. Guys, go check out Lojo. He makes YouTube videos too, just like me. Yeah, occasionally. Okay, yeah. on the occasion. All right, see you guys in Florida. Bye. All right, folks, we are here at the pond. We have uh, everything from the farm store we got. I put it in a little money bag here so I can carry it around the pond. We are here at a public park today. Probably the most public park in Tallahassee. I mean, if you guys live here, you know exactly where this is. I saw a few bedding bass here so i think what we're gonna do is pick out some lures and maybe we can catch them on beds on so that might eliminate the top water frog unless we filled it with water and like sunk it on their bed uh, i don't know what i want to use we have worms but i want to save that for the end because i feel like that's pretty easy i'm gonna get some of these hard lures out of the way i think we might go with these saltwater doa little swim baits here throw them on a texas rig because, I mean, it does kind of look like a shad, and this thing looks like it's going to have some good action moving on the bed like that. I'm going to tie this stuff on. We're going to bring the whole bag with us and see how many different lures we can catch fish on today. With our goal, I think we're going to have good odds of catching like an 8-plus pounder today. Maybe my biggest fish of the year. We're going after giants. I'm going to tie this on, and uh, we'll get out there. So guys, we've been hopping all of these beds. There was probably like a 9-10 pounder over there just chasing off bluegill every single cast. Hey guys, these are the first bedding bass that we found. They'll actually buy, we've probably been here for like, what, an hour and a half? So like, I spent like an hour on this nine pounder. We're thinking about coming back and doing like a live crawfish challenge. If you guys wanna see that, leave a like. Uh, we definitely, I mean, there's a nine and a 10 over there, but we're working on these other fish that are really big too. And we tied on the green worms. There's two different packs of worms we got. This is the bigger version. I just bit it down a little bit because I want to try both versions today and maybe catch an eight pluser. But this is what we're starting with. And they're finally, I mean, after everything, we threw the chatter bait. Uh, jerk bait, those little swim baits, and they kind of looked at it, but this is the only thing they're actually grabbing. They're just grabbing it by the tail and moving it, so they're super smart, but we're gonna keep casting at them. Oh, yeah. Oh, you dirty, dirty dog. <laughs> Guys, there's a male and a female on this bed. The female is way less locked. The male has bit at literally every single cast, but will not get the hook in his mouth. He is very smart. Very good at moving that worm off of his territory. I wish I had like a tinier craw, the, but the farm store lures are so, oh, look at him. He's gonna grab it again. Uh, I thought he bit off the tail. I'm 100% catching this one. 
not to doubt in my mind one of these times you're gonna accidentally grab the hook and i know it got him Oh, got him. <laughs> there we go. Yes, finally. <laughs> After he bit it 90 times, we got the male off the bed. And that is a pretty chunky male. For those of you who don't know, the females are always the bigger ones on the bed. The males are the smaller ones. And uh, finally, on the little farm store worm, we cracked ourselves probably, what, like a two pounder or so? We have the scale, but we're gonna only weigh the females today. <laughs> it's probably like a two pound. Look, even some birds have tried to come down and grab it because it's been up there bedding. But uh, we're gonna let him go so he can go guard his eggs. See ya, buddy. Thank you. That fish smelled terrible, dude. Oh, yeah. I like the worm so much more than this <laughs> freaking chatterbait, dude. Kind of down. I think this. I think one of these two is definitely catchable because both of them are here, and both of them have stayed. Yeah. So it's definitely gonna eat. And I mean, they're they're just sitting here rubbing. They're just making love on the bed. All right. Oh my gosh. Got him. Got the got the female. <laughs> she came up and cranked it, dude. She just turned on it. Yes. Got the female. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I threw on there. The male has been nosing it every cast. Threw in and for whatever reason, it hit right on the female's tail. She turned around and just grabbed it. Oh my gosh. What a chunky fish. Dude, these farm store worms, they're hitting different. I wish we could use more of the selection guys that we got because they really had a great selection and great deals. Like these, what were these, a bass assassin? Bass assassin, yep. I never see bass assassin worms in Walmart. So the female, probably like, that's probably like a three, three and a half pounder. The scale is up in the truck. I promise you guys, we are gonna weigh probably like an eight pounder in today's video. I just have a feeling because there's so many more fish that we've seen, so many more fish we've marked, so I'm not gonna run up there for her. All right, and that's what I thought too. It's probably like three or four pounds. This might be like three and a half. So we're gonna let him go, let her go back on her bed. Go defend it and everything. Dude, I might need like a gigantic bait. Just got him, got him. <laughs> oh, that was so sweet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was like, just gonna say, I might need a gigantic bait to stand out from all of his bait that he's chasing. Dude, that was so sweet. Oh, he's barely hooked. Don't shake it. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, check <laughs> that out. That was so cool. He was getting mad at all the bait. I was about to say, he probably had a tail sticking out of his tongue, but he doesn't. I <laughs> thought he would be swallowing all those shiners. That was so cool. Literally stood here, just like I was like cane pole fishing, just dragging my bandito bug back and forth across. He freaking scooped it. Fish number, I guess, three of this video. <laughs> Another salt. I mean, we're not catching like dinks by any means, but not any giants. But we're about to head to spot number three, where I have a good feeling we're going to catch an absolute tank. So I'm going to let this one go. That was on the, the worm again. Tried everything else. They just, they only want the worm. Sometimes you just, you got to listen to the fish. If they tell you what they want, you know, you got to listen. All right, see you, buddy. Go back and guard your bed. We were here yesterday. I was scouting everything out, and that's why I'm excited about this next spot. There was a ton of females here, and now they're gone. So I kind of wish I would have caught them yesterday. And I tried to scout. That way we could just go, 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 and fish. And I eliminated like 10 bad ponds, got 10 good ones. And uh, this was one of the good ones, and this is right where the big probably like seven, eight pounders were chilling, but they moved on. So uh, we're gonna go to the next spot where we got a little bit of light and see what we can make happen. Oh, oh, he ate it. Got him. <laughs> that was sick. Let's go on the worm from the farm store. Yes. Lily just watched him swimming down there, guys. And he cranked it. Well, I got a sight fish him. That was so cool. First cast in. Not too shabby of a little guy. <laughs> a little probably one pounder. Just roaming up here. There's so much nasty vegetation in these pads. Looking for beds, but just saw him swimming. Kind of lost sight of him because there's a lot of spotty uh, shade and sunspots. But just threw in there. <laughs> got him. Let's go. <laughs> the weightless little rig. I watched him come up to the edge of the pads and just crank it. Oh my gosh. 
Guys, there's an absolute unit over here. I don't know if it's a, a better or if it's just, hey, oh my gosh, he's swimming to it. Guys, giant, giant, I mean giant. He grabbed it. Got him, giant, big and <laughs> That was so sick. It's a good one. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, this might be a freaking seven pounder. Holy cow, holy, oh, I snapped my rod, no. Oh, it's a freaking tank, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a trophy. First cast in there. I stick my rod and snapped it. Oh my gosh. I just caught a freaking eight pounder. Holy cow, the farm equipment, let's go. That is a giant. First cast in there, that is so dumb. I walked all the way around here, caught that one little squeak. I was thinking there's gonna be none on beds. Saw what looked to be a bed over there. Just saw an absolute giant swim. I don't know if he was locked. I don't know if he's just swimming up shallow, but first cast on there. No, it's probably eight and a half, nine. I got the scale on me. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna do like a full 360. 9.28 pounds, holy cow. <laughs> guys, check that out. A 9.28 pounder. I'm trying to get a cool angle. I was gonna call the guys and tell them that I, that I caught one call of my YouTuber friends, but she is freaking fat. I'm gonna let her go. I don't know where I put my phone, but look at that, a 928. That's my biggest fish of the year. I'm um, beating my seven pounder. I walked pretty much 95% of this pond, and this is the first one I saw. Give you guys a little 360 view. I don't know how the light looks on the GoPro. I Hopefully she looks as big as she is. I mean, guys, absolute unit. Let's go. I was gonna get a little Instagram story or Instagram pictures, but I threw my phone down and completely lost it. And I don't want to hold her out of the water too long, but a 9.28, my first betting fish of the year. <laughs> and it's a nine pounder. That is crazy. All right, big girl. Oh, she is so thick, she's tummied up. <laughs> you go for it. Look at the shoulders on this unit. Ugh. Try to push her out. Oh, she's making her way. Oh my gosh, what a football, 9.28. Let's go. I don't have a picture of this fish, so when I find my phone and call everybody, they're not gonna believe me that I just got a 928.